Good morning from Gatlinburg. We're starting out today over here in the Glades community by the covered bridge and today's an epic day. Oh, you're going to want to stay tuned for this because today is part of Gatlinburger week. Gatlinburger week, what's that? We're going to tell you more about it as we go along. But basically, the city of Gatlinburg has an app that you can go on and you can become a burger master. I have many titles on this channel. Christy calls me Brooksy Baby. I wear these ironic shirts. Mr. Awesome, King of the Grill. You've seen them. Well, today I am earning the title of Burger Master. That's going to require seven out of 19 burgers. We're going to do that. Seven burgers in one day. Six different places. Come along with us all over Gatlinburg because you are looking at the next Burger Master. I don't say so. The city of Gatlinburg is going to say it. We'll show you what we're talking about. So let's go do this. We're here at stop number one, Split Rail Eats, over at the Covered Bridge Shops over in the Glades. And let's hope that this first burger doesn't split our pants. We are ready to try the Smashed Potato and Gravy Burger. <laughs> yes. We're here for that Smashed Potatoes and Gravy Burger. So. It doesn't go for the side, you want it on the side? No, that's okay. We're doing seven today. <laughs> Yes. So, if we can eliminate sides, let's eliminate sides. <laughs> This is burger number one at Split Rail Eats. For us today, this is the smashed potatoes and gravy burger. Yep. Look at that. Yeah. And Brooks, do you want to describe this burger for us? <laughs> All right. What you're seeing here on this plate is deep fried mashed potatoes, homemade mashed potatoes, two, sma uh, two smashed Angus patties, you've got provolone cheese, there's bacon, all of that craziness is topped with a caramelized onion gravy. Oh. That looks nuts. My goodness. Wow. Yeah. All right, cut that in, cut that in half for us. So cut we it can in half. Get into it. The folks, yep. the folks here at Split Rail Reeks have been nothing but kind and sweet to us. They are good. They are good people. Look at this. I don't want to, I don't want to destroy the burger because I know what's inside there. I don't think there's a choice. We're going to destroy it anyway. Uh, well, it's going to get smashed. They call it a smash burger. It's going to get smashed. Oh, wow. Whoa. Okay. Divide that onto the plates. That's going to be some crazy stuff right here. Look at this. First of all, I'm glad we got napkins. Whoa. <laughs> Have a look at that. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. You see that? That's I crazy. See it. Yeah, I gotta right. grab some napkins here because that's gonna happen. I will give you your half, my love. All I've right. got gravy. onion gravy like all over me. Gravy. Yes, I've got onion gravy all over me. I don't okay. even care. We're gonna. The people are waiting. That's right. People are waiting. Oh my goodness, it's just falling apart. I'm gonna have to hunch this. I bit the edge off. Doesn't look like you got much burger in your mouth there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so this is our breakfast. A brunch. This is a brunch burger right here. We didn't here. have breakfast, so this is breakfast. Mm -hmm. 
Hey, you can't have breakfast here. We're doing seven burgers in one day. We're basically doing, you know, I mean, that's crazy. That is so good. There's the onion gravy. You know what I don't? I don't really taste the mashed potatoes that much. I know that they're there, but the onion it's gravy. It's more of a texture thing than a. Oh yeah, thing. the onion gravy though with the with the cheese and the burger and everything. That's really really good. Smells very good. I haven't eaten it yet, but. Yes. So. All right. Well, burger number one is a winner. So. All right, my love. You're gonna have to give this a try. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm gonna get this. Yes. Beautiful burger down the hatch. I'll give that a try and tell me what you think. Mmm. Yeah. That's different, isn't it? I do taste the potato. <laughs> you taste the potatoes? Okay. Okay. Or maybe it's just the texture of the potatoes that, you know, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I almost get lost though in that onion gravy because that onion gravy it's is all, amazing. It's just very good. Yes. I mean, it, it all melts together really, really well. The onion gravy is great. The bacon is nice and crispy, which is how I like it. Yes. And then you've got the two smashed burgers there. Uh, yeah, I think we're good. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, so we're going to finish up here and then on to burger number two. Mm -hmm. Yes. We are headed to burger number two, which is in the village at Maddie Mae Cafe and Creamery. So we've got a two for one shot because Medici's Celtic Pub is our next stop after Maddie Mae's Cafe and Creamery. We're going to go in here and give this one a shot. Burger number two. So Maddie Mays actually sells pint jars of the blackberry bourbon jam that is used on the blackberry bourbon burger. All right, we have our Maddie Mays Creamery Blackberry Bourbon Burger. And what does that have on it, Brooks? So the Blackberry Bourbon Burger. This okay. burger is actually, this one's unique because it's actually steamed, which I think is really neat. It's a half pound steamed Angus burger. It's got a custard egg, there's cheddar cheese, mayo, and then that special Blackberry Bourbon Jam. And they do sell that here, right? They do. All right, let's open it up and see exactly what it looks like. So this is the inside of the Maddie Mays bourbon, blackberry bourbon, blackberry bourbon burger, and you can see the layers of flavor there. Um, they made the burger actually how we like it, which is a nice medium to medium rare. But uh, yeah, that looks so good, and I guess they consider this a, a dessert burger. So we're looking forward to getting into that. Blackberry bourbon burger. So let's give this a shot. I'm not sure you'll like this one. This is probably more of a me thing. In fact, this was my request. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm. I do like it. But that is way different. So look at the custard egg in there. That's a steam burger, which is different because it has that gives it that good texture. It's it's kind of a wow the texture of that, but that blackberry bourbon jam that really makes that. <laughs> How do you like my hairdo, darling? I love it. It's, it's beautiful. called the fern. Yes. It's fabulous. For the Christy fern grows. It's shedding. <laughs> <laughs> 
love. All right, I'm here looking fabulous. <laughs> it's my fern hairdo. Yes. Uh, I want to just shout out to the ladies from Indianapolis who came by and said hello. Uh -huh. um, all right, wow, this this is the one I, one of the ones I really, really was curious to try. So yes. here we go. Make sure you get some of that egg in there. Oh. Hmm. Got a little bit on here. Look there, there you go. How was that? I like that. <laughs> the custard egg. Yeah. All right, so that sounds really strange, doesn't it? I mean, it does a little bit. And it is actually an eggy texture, but it tastes like a vanilla custard. Yep. And then you've got the blackberry bourbon jam, which adds the sweetness, and then the cheddar cheese, which kind of balances out the savory of the burger. I like this one a lot. Okay. Burger one more bite. Two. Yeah. <laughs> burger number two. Burger number two. So, while we're waiting for Maddie Mays burger, we're gonna go ahead and order here at the Beaches Healthy Pub. So, burger number three, let's go order. This one is from Bodicha's Celtic Pub, which is right here by Maddie Mays. So two for one stop here. This is the Frickle and Beer Cheese Burger. There's 100% Angus beef. There's Irish white cheddar that you see on top. Their famous beer cheese, look at that. And then those are marinated grilled Guinness and fried pickle straws. That and then of course you've got your chips. Pretty amazing, and this came with fries as well. Mm -hmm. Burger number three. Yes, burger number three is <laughs> I'm right. I'm getting full already after <sighs> after part of two. Yes. Um, all right, so I'm going to cut this baby in half. We'll take the cheese off for now. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get in there on that. Oh, this great bear cheese they gave us, too. Yeah, with the fries. That was really nice. Thank you, guys. Okay, let's get into that cross section. Oh, it's a lot of burgers, y'all. <laughs> that is, look at that. Wow, that looks really good. If anybody's around and wants to share, <laughs> that's right. There's no way. Whew. All right, okay, I'm going for it. Go all in on. Burger number three. <laughs> <laughs> I have to unhinge your jaw and do the hunch. There you go. Look at that. Mm. There's a lot going on there. Okay. But it's good. But it's good. Each thing kind of hits you separate, like yeah. like like at different times. Okay. Like the pickle fry, is it pickle fries? Mm -hmm. Beer cheese, the onion ring on top. The the meat in the patties is delicious, and then you've got them grilled onions. Okay. That is fantastic. It's very very good. Um, picking a favorite in this thing already, even with number three, is going to be hard. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. But All we'll right. work on it. We will let Brooksy tell us what he thinks. I got yes. beer cheese on my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Burger number three for Brooks. Oh, yes. Already feeling it a little bit. <laughs> We're already feeling it and we've only had, well, actually we've only had a half a burger yeah. total so Wait, far. Well, it really does look amazing, so. It's very fresh. Look at the mm. inside there. It's pretty good. I think this is going to be a winner for you for oh, sure. Oh man. Mm. Marinated and grilled and then deep fried Pickle. Guinness pickle straws. I would actually like to try those by themselves. Mm. 
All right, here it is, stop number four. This is Jason Aldean's Kitchen and Rooftop Bar. All right, we are on burger number four. Burger here number at four. Jason Aldean's. Jason Aldean's, that's right. So, Tell us what's on this burger, babe. Look at this local beef patty. You've got kettle chips, smoked bacon, creamy mac and cheese, all with a bourbon barbecue sauce. And that included fries as well. It did. All right, I'm gonna let you go first on this. Oh yeah, let me go first. I am. I need to cut into this. You do. Look at this. We're gonna do the smash thing. <laughs> We're gonna do the smash thing because I've been smashing burgers all day. This is only number four. <laughs> only, no, only number four. Only number four. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a fun day though, and we've run into so many people who. Uh, no, they're said, hey. so kind and said hey and are familiar with yes. our channel so that's always been a fun day humbling for us as well Ooh, look at this With a little bit of bacon in there look at that yeah that looks like a good burger it's falling apart which is like i like my burgers yep yep okay you need me to get into this don't you well, I suppose we do if we're doing this challenge. <laughs> Ooh, okay. I'm gonna go from this side because I get bacon and everything. Okay. You gotta build the perfect bite. Very important. <laughs> that doesn't disappoint at all. That mac and cheese is so creamy. Yeah, I can even see that. Bacon, very crispy, nice buttered bun, nice patty. It's just a nice burger. That uh, bourbon barbecue sauce with the kettle chips. Wow, that's pretty awesome. All right, love. <laughs> number four. All right, number four. This is awesome. Look at the bacon hanging off of that burger. It is. It's like hanging off. Okay, give that to me. I got a nice close-up right there. <laughs> That's a crispy burger. Yeah. I like everything about this burger. You can actually taste the mac and cheese. Kind yes, of you separate can. Separate from the burger. Yep. I like the barbecue sauce. The chips are, are great. Of course, who doesn't love bacon? And, um... The, like I said, the barbecue and the burger itself is falling apart, which is exactly how I like a burger. I don't like a burger that's too dense for me, and I'm actually kind of glad that this one's only got one patty. <laughs> yeah. Because it's oh. been big, y'all. The double smash burgers, uh, that's killing us. Yeah, really good. <laughs> All right. Well, let's finish up number four. Four and then three more. Yep. I don't know if we can do it, but we're yes. going to try. We can do it. We're going to take you with us on a little walk down the parkway in Gatlinburg as we head to Burgers 5 and 6. Well, 
Woo. So we've, we're walking off burgers one through four. And, uh, <laughs> but we're on numbers five and six here at Local Burr. My crazy husband has gotten me into this <laughs> crazy seven burger day. Yes. I don't think we'll eat hardly anything for several days. We're done. After this. We're done today. Oh no, there's there'll be no more today after number for seven. Sure. For sure. So we are at local borough. Yep. Local borough. For burgers. Five and six. Five and six. You're saying, how does two rest or one restaurant have two burgers? Local Borough is part of Kennedy Concepts, which also has Puckers. And as you know, Puckers burnt down last year in 2022. So for the Gatlin Burger Challenge, Local Borough has their burger, and then they also have the Puckers Burger, the 1999 they call it, because they're gonna party like it's 1999. So we're gonna try both here. I think it's awesome that Gatlinburg is allowing them to participate. Yes. Ah, you're in the Latino spirit. Yes, as a matter of fact. Uh, la cucaracha? La cucaracha. No, not la cucaracha. No not, cucaracha. No, no la cucaracha. Uh, Caracas. I'll be like, ay, 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 ay. Isn't that the mar mar Maracas? Oh, Caracas. Maracas, Caracas. You tell us. Mariachi? <laughs> no, mariachi. How about different. this? Ole! Ole! I have chickens, but Peace. I think maybe this dove would like to come say hello to us too. Hola! That dove has soft skin. <laughs> Hola, little dove. He says, I'll bring you peace. He, he says, I think they're friendly. I just want to know, are they going to feed me? Hello! Well, if you come fly a few miles to our house, there's all the feed you can have, Bertie. Yes. And I think the chickens would share. Yes. Bye-bye! Okay, so we're starting off with the Puckers. I want to call it the Puckers Memorial Burger. It's actually called the 1999. That looks like a classic burger. There's a secret to this burger that you don't know yet. It's Angus Beef with bacon and cheddar, pucker sauce, lettuce, tomato, red onion, and pickles. That's a toasted brioche bun, but guess what? That Angus beef burger is stuffed with the bacon and cheddar. Oh. It's like a Juicy Lucy right here. So we're gonna cut this and give it a shot. All right, number five. Number five. <laughs> is the Puckers 1999 burger yep. with a throwback. Throwback. It, it seems like just a classic burger on the outside. But, but wait. there's a secret. Wait, oh, wait, wait a minute. More. Look, look, look. As I, <laughs> yes. as you cut. Let me get rid of the lettuce there. Oh, look at that. Stuffed with bacon and cheddar in the burger. Yes. Okay. So, you want to try that first, my love? I do. Well, then I'm going to let you try it. I'm deciding which side looks yummier. Okay. <laughs> it actually looks and smells very delicious. Yes. That's definitely okay. a hand-packed burger. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Got it all over your chin there. Stringy cheese. Look at that. Mm. Got it on the mouth. Oh man. <laughs> there you go. No, you still got it. It's all over the corner right there. There you go. You got it. <laughs> yeah. Alright. So my first impression of the 1999 is freshness. Fresh, okay. Um homemade. Yep. Like your 
whoever is the best burger maker in your family took their time to hand pack that burger together yes and okay. added all that love and goodness on the inside okay good deal um so you're I, lucky now. I actually love the simplicity of it to be honest okay all right i'll get into it here in a minute another view on the inside of the puckers 1999 all right, well, number five, the 1999. So, we look forward to fuckers, hopefully next spring, coming back. Until then, here we go. You're right. So that burger makes me think that my dad's been grilling all day, right? And it's just, it's amazing. Like, there's just, it is, it's simple, it's fresh. I mean, that is a lot of meat. It is a lot of meat, and it's, it's very good meat. I mean, it's, it it's is. very tasty. It's well um, done. This so way, again, I like it. It's not so dense. Yeah. Not like a hockey puck, as my mother would say. I'm going back for now. Yeah, I, I like that one. It's, the simplicity of it, it kind of gets me. All right, are we ready for number six? <laughs> if we're not, we might as well be. Well, we better get ready because it's right here. It is. Okay, burger number six. We're rounding the bend here. This is the local borough, El Burro Burger. Yes, so it's Angus beef. Al Pastor marinated pork belly. Look at that. Yes, that is a charred pineapple pico de gallo on there with a smoked chili aioli on the bun and then toasted brioche. So This is one of the ones I was excited about. Yep, indeed. Cut it open for me, but see. Okay, well, I'm gonna try to go right down the middle of the pork belly here because. You can see the jelly on your finger, whatever that is. Yeah, okay. Oh, wow. I think I got a pretty good cut there. Let's have a look inside. Oh, look at this. The pork belly's already falling off. But you have the pork belly. Oh, look at that. Pico. That's charred pineapple pico. There's garlic aioli on the bun. Yeah. Okay. Wanna try it? I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Here we ready go. as I'll ever be, baby, is after right. having five burgers. Mm. This is like another sweet savory one I wasn't sure if you would like. Okay. The pineapple pico is actually not that sweet. Where they charred it, that almost has like a sweet savory combo in there. But the Al Pastor marinated pork belly on there, whoa, that just takes it over the top. That's another level burger right there. Okay. Okay, so I was looking forward to this one because the pineapple pico and yes. again, I'm seeing the, how the meat is really, really beautifully done there, hand packed. Let's go with it. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do you think of that? Oh, that gets a fork twirl. That's the first fork twirl of the day. Right now, this one's in the running for my pick. Okay. Okay. Wow, was a um, say I really like the flavors in that the pineapple with the tomato tanginess the saltiness of the pork belly and the burger is just sort of that was really something it's yeah. just very good in the bun I like the bun too oh yeah we've absolutely. not had a bad bun, bad bun today nope. but nope. Um, I think the for lack of better better word the uniqueness of this one really 
I like simple, but I also like unique. So yes, yeah, I'm very surprised how how much I like this one. Okay, all right. Well, on to our last stop. All right, one more. One more. Okay, stop number seven. The final stop of the day lies behind the red door. <laughs> we're here at the park grill and we are looking forward to the last one on the list. Burger number seven. Yes. Day. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the Gatlin Burger from the Park Grill. Oh my yeah, goodness. Monstrosity. Yes. It is all there. Monstrosity oh is correct. God. Who wants to do the cutting in half? Oh, well, we're not sure yet. <laughs> you have here is called the Flying Pig Burger. This is a 10 ounce house made Angus patty, pulled pork, barbecue sauce, there's lettuce, tomato, onion, pickle, and then it is topped. Are you ready for this? That's a fried chicken skin on a ciabatta bun, and that's homemade ciabatta. So that just looks incredible. Yep, so here we go. I'm gonna give this the cut. So first of all, I would just like to say, holy cow, it's amazing. That fried chicken skin has some texture that you wouldn't believe. I'm having to do like a surgeon's cut over here. <laughs> uh oh, I'm knocking everything off. Look, it's just huge. It's just huge. So I'm gonna put it back together here a little bit. Let me, like a surgeon, I'm doctor, doctor, doctor. Trying to put it back together. This is incredible. Okay, are you ready? to see the reveal. I'm ready. Look, look at that. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? Can you see everything in that? I mean, wow. Okay, so, should I give this a shot? Definitely give it a shot. Okay. I don't know how I'm gonna get my mouth around it. Well, I'm gonna do the hunch. I'm gonna, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna, okay, here we go. I'm going over here because this corner has this big old chicken skin and the pork. I'm gonna have to like punch this. <laughs> Hang on. Oh man. Okay. There's a lot of texture going on there. There's so much. The chicken skin is amazing. The burp. Oh, over the chicken skin is amazing. All right. So the chicken skin is amazing. The pulled pork, the the, the barbecue sauce, the, the burger is awesome. And then just everything. But the onion, the tomato, everything, and then that ciabatta bun is just so nice. So I'm looking forward to Christy getting a hold of this. Okay, love. <laughs> so we saved the biggest for last. <laughs> this is a monster. Without a doubt, it's, 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 it's it should be called the Intimidator. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's nuts. 
It is monstrous. I'm not sure even how to get a hold of it here. You're probably gonna have to do like me and take two bites. Because it is I'm trying to, to, to line up a good bite here. <laughs> I think I have one. Okay, you think you got one? Okay. Okay. I can't get my mouth around <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna have to take two bites of that. Oh, that was it. <laughs> you want wow. some water, sir? Okay. Mm. Yeah. Really? Really good. Yeah, isn't that crazy? What do you think of the fried chicken skin on that? I love it. <laughs> isn't that awesome? I do not know who came up with that burger here, but whoever did, that is amazing. Like, I am so full. But, that is good. And yeah, that's I could a eat burger. More of it. <laughs> yeah, that's a burger I don't want to leave behind. Yeah, that's amazing. I don't have a fork right now or I'd twirl it. Okay, there you go. There you go. <laughs> twirl it fork. Big old fork twirl. So, only go. two burgers got the troll from me and they've all been good so it's gonna we're gonna have to see which one I decide is my favorite there you go okay we'll see you for final thoughts on Gatlin Burger Week we yes. conquered seven burgers yes <laughs> got to get stickers made because I want to be able to pass out stickers to people because we are starting to get recognized a little more. That's pretty cool. I want to be able to give them something to remember that. So, I mean, not that we're memorable, but, you know, uh, they thought it was cool. <laughs> so, before we announce our pick and our winner, and it, our winner was actually unanimous, which is really unusual. It is. Because we actually have very different tastes. Oh, we do. Um, I like one thing. He likes another. But That's we for sure. had a clear one winner. Oh, and it was amazing. Now the other six, uh, very difficult to tell you who was better than the other because we did not have a bad burger today. We did not. Not we a single not. one. I can't say that there was a burger that we tried that I just went, ah, they just threw together an entry. No. They did not. Uh, we spoke to some of the burger creators or the burger chefs, uh, burger Charred and the pineapple pico and the pork belly, crispy pork belly, al pastor, <laughs> marinated pork belly. You know, when I took a bite of that, I just was like, oh 
my goodness, <laughs> for my taste buds. Yeah, I loved it. That was it. crazy. Absolutely loved it. That was crazy. Um, every burger was amazing. That yep. one kind of made me go, oh wow. My runner wow. up. Okay. My runner up. I went back and forth on my runner up, but my runner up was Maddie Mays Blackberry Bourbon Jam Burger. And I'm shocked by his runner up because he is not usually a sweet savory person. No. And but, that was a definite sweet savory burger. But you know what? That custard egg so, with the blackberry bourbon jam so different. was so creative and plus that burger was steamed. It went well. It, it was did. steamed. It was a that was just nice. I don't know. I that was that was a uh, a surprise. Uh, yeah, Don't well, I was surprised. I was surprised by how good it was. That was what you know. That was my one of my places I picked. So yes. Um, all right. So the winner. The winner. This is who's going to get our vote. And this is who gets our vote on the Gatlinburg app. Both of us yeah. unanimously. It was unanimous. Was. Drum roll, please. And. The winner is. Ta -da. For the Smoky Mountain Faith Food and Fun, Gatlin Burger Best Burger of the Seven We Ate is the Park, the Park Grill. Grill with their flying the flying pig burger. Pig burger, holy cow! I Quite mean, literally, yes, holy cow, <laughs> holy pig, holy everything, holy chicken, holy chicken. Uh, um, so intimidating <laughs> initially when you see it. Yeah, and so, I thought that's going to be too much. I, that's going to be too much. I tend to. Oh, we got to tell about when the server brought it out. To veer. Our server Mark, he was very nice, and very very good with us. He knew that we were on our seventh, seventh burger. burger of the day, <laughs> so he's like, "Oh, okay," and uh, he was very good to us. But as we're as he's bringing the burger out of the kitchen, uh, there was a gentleman sitting at the bar, and the gentleman just went. What in the world is that? <laughs> and he went, that's our Gatlin burger. Yeah. And he was like, wow. And we were like, wow, when he brought it. Talk about that burger. Uh, the chicken skin. Mm -hmm. um, that is an over the top thing. But, and I tend to be, I like, I like over the top at the same time. I usually end up choosing more simplistic. Mm -hmm. This burger had it all. It I did. Mean, and I thought it's going to be too much. It's going to be too much for me. I'm, I'm going to think it's too much. But after I took my first bite, I realized everything on that burger just went amazing. And the chicken mm -hmm. skin was kind of the kind of the thing that threw it over for me. It was so good. So oh my goodness. this burger was a 10 ounce burger patty, handmade in the house. And then you've got lettuce, tomato, onion, pickles, and then it's got pulled pork fried chicken skin and the barbecue sauce and the barbecue sauce is made in house it's just oh it's amazing it's such a good burger and wow I mean it was it was unanimous for us we both after we took a bite just went okay I guess we did save the best for last we did we did so mm -hmm. Gatlin Burger Week is almost over yes. uh, there's two days left but if you you look and you maybe next year you can come back and yes. do your own Gatlin Burger challenge. <laughs> yes, matter of fact, put in the comments. Do you want them to continue doing Gatlin Burger Week yeah. every year? We would yeah, like there's that. Nineteen. We tried seven. Um, yep. I can't imagine trying any more than this. But also, ever. <laughs> yes. But. Also, I'd like to know in the comments. What would your favorite burger be of the ones that we tried today? Yeah, I'm curious what looked good to anyone. Yes, um, absolutely. Let us know in that. And we've got a bucket load of leftovers. There's <laughs> a there's a we finished back full. the full burger of three. Split rail eats the first one, it, which was so good. Oh yeah. my gosh, that was in the running for gravy. first for 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 a long time. Yep. Uh, the <laughs> so, fourth burger that we had, which was. was Jason Aldean. Jason Aldean. And that was good too. I mean, I'm telling you, not a bad burger. Yeah. There just wasn't a bad one. It's yes. hard to pick. But yes. The Park Grill. That we finished the Park Grill burger. Yeah, it was huge, but we finished yeah. it and we're really full. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. It was really our good. protein intake for the day. No doubt. Yep. I think my head's cut off. But it is. It's okay. That's okay. You know I'm here. So. Um, so anyway, that is the wrap up. We're going to show you next how the app works. Yeah. And 
That's a burger wrap on the food. It's a burger wrap. That's a burger wrap on the food. But we're going to show you next. You're going to see how the app works so that you can see how we use the app all day to go through yes. the Gallon Burger Challenge. Yep. And some photos as usual. Yes, absolutely. But we hope you'll stick around for we that. We hope you stick around, like the video, comment. We definitely love your comments. Yeah, we like and we like engaging with you guys. Yes. That's always fun for us. So, and we appreciate all the birthday and wishes too. Share the video. Yeah, right? absolutely. This is, this is share something the video. very different, I think. Um, something very different for us. It's very different for anybody, I think. Um, we've had a lot of wows on our Facebook today. Yeah. <laughs> People are like, "Whoa, what are you doing? Burger number six? Burger number seven? What are you doing?" So this has been fun. It's been a fun day. So, and we've got to play tourist in our yeah, in our hometown, nice my to hometown play, today. So to play tourist a little bit. Yes. So that's always nice. All right. Well, we love y'all, and stay tuned for the app instructions and the pictures, yeah. and then you're free to go. Class dismissed. So. Well, <laughs> Burger yes. class dismissed. Burger class dismissed. Yes. <laughs> All right, guys. Bye bye. Bye bye. All right, Brooks, tell us about the Gatlin Burger Challenge yes. app. Okay, so the app is actually the Visit Gatlinburg app. It's available on, on Google Play and uh, the Apple Store. So when you click on the app, you do have to create an account. It'll bring this up at the top. It'll say, of course, the Gatlinburg logo. It'll say the mountains are calling. And right below that is the Gatlinburger Week official passport. When you click on this, it gives you this list of participating restaurants. It tells you how to win, levels and prizes. It allows you to vote for your favorite burger, share on social, it gives you burger tips, and then it allows you to contact. So why don't you show us the, the restaurants that are participating? Participating restaurants. So right now, we've st we're still waiting on some check-ins to go through. So we've got three approved already. And we have six done. We're at the Park Grill. This is going to be our last one. So the Park Grill. Bennett's Pit Barbecue, TGI Fridays, Crawdaddy's, the Poolside Cafe at Sydney James, Local Borough, Puckers, uh, Jason Aldean's, uh, Bodicius, uh, Bodicius, I, can, I always get mixed up saying that. It's Bodicius Celtic Pub. Maddie Mays Cafe and Creamery, the Vista Grill at the Park Vista, uh, Clifftop at Anakista, Smokehouse at Anakista, Margaritaville Resort Gatlinburg, Old Red Gatlinburg, the Little House of Pancakes, Ober Mountain Cafe, Joe and Pop Sub Shop, and the last one, which is where we started, Split Rail Eats. Awesome, and when yes. we go inside the Park Grill, we will show you the check-in process. Yes, we so will. So that you can see how that works, so that they can verify that you actually were there. Yes, when you it'll it'll tell you how to win. So it gives you the dates. One, two, three, four. You have to order the burger, check in on the app. Yep, check in on the app. We'll show you that process when we go in here, and then of course you share and tag on social media. It's hashtag Gatlin Burger, and then you vote. So that is how you do that prizes prizes there are four levels okay so if you achieve one burger you're a burger novice three burgers makes you a burger enthusiast five burgers makes you a burger connoisseur and once we get our last approved check-in here at the park grill we will achieve top level seven burgers <laughs> in one day and we will be burger master yes <laughs> Oopsie right. baby has a new title yes so we hope you have enjoyed our little tour de gatlinburg er <laughs> yes our tour de gatlinburger yes tour de gatlinburger yes, yes that's what we're calling this officially this is so where, where have we been today we've been to gatlinburger yes totally yes. yes but if you liked this video we want you to give us a thumbs up please give us a thumbs up we're and gonna comment. ask you no mean comments please we ask nice comments i mean yeah but you know 
but some people are just meanies. Some people okay. are just going to come in, and that's fine. So. And believe it or not, we did not eat all the burgers. We got take-home boxes <laughs> for days. It's too much. But anyway, we're going to ask you to hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you a thing to subscribe because you are not going to want to miss what we've got coming up. This has been a crazy fun-filled day, and I know we've got lots more. And to come. share this video because the video. we believe at this time we are the only vlog who has done seven burgers in one day. <laughs> We're the only ones crazy for the Gatlin that. Burger. For Gatlin Burger, yes, yes. week.